from Take a Girl Child to Work to women's empowerment programs, we've heard a lot about it. But what about the boys? That's just what Prime Stars and the Young Start, uh, Youth Start Foundation thought. So they rolled out the What About the Boys program in schools last year. Uh, it aims to redefine what masculinity means in an effort to stop gender-based violence. We'll find out what the plans are for the year ahead uh, from CEO Nkosinati Mushwana, who joins us live now via Zoom. Um, there was a stellar launch just two days ago, Nkosinati, of the second year of What About the Boys. Can we take it back and perhaps bring our viewer in and tell us where it all started? Well, uh, good morning, William, and uh, good morning to everyone watching. Thank you very much. Um, what About the Boys started a few years ago as an office brainstorm where we had the problem of GBV placed on our plate as prime stars. Now, we've been in the education space for almost 20 years, and we were challenged to look at how we can actually respond to gender-based violence in the country. And looking at the ecosystem of GBV, we realized that there had been a lot of investment being placed and supporting victims post the act, rightfully so. So we thought that the best place that we as a youth organization with a national base could make a difference is by starting with the boy child in ensuring that we can raise a nation of good men by redefining masculinity and introducing new norms of what it means to be a good man in order to stop GBV. And we're listening to your CEO, Martin Sweet, speaking at the launch um, on Thursday in Santon, and he was really sharing some shocking statistics in as far as young men in South Africa in, in particular, within the global context of where we sit when it comes to violence um, meted out against women, children. Uh, where are we right now? Do you, do you have those stats? Uh, can you share them with us? Look, uh, the model of the project has various elements that we wanted to implement within schools. The target market of those tests that you speak of are high school boys between 14 years and 20 years. So what we did is we created a national movement behind the project. And I must say, it was led by uh, Siriti Sassol Markham and the Ford Foundation to say, we need to start early at school. So what we did is we implemented a project that introduced a film. With the film was a storyline to a local context. And that then led into school curriculum, as well as a national mentorship movement where good men like yourself, William, put their hands up and said, we want to mentor these boys and respond to this question of what about the boys? Now, in that implementation, there were pre-assessments and post-assessments, some scary. One is 20% uh, of the boys at the beginning of the program in various communities around the country agreed that a woman deserves to be beaten from time to time. About 25% of our boys agreed that a man can have sex with his wife at any given point in time, up to his choice, with no need for consent. Up to 75% of the boys at the beginning of the program were dependent on some sort of drug or substance abuse just to be able to survive in the country today. But what gave us hope and what gave us excitement to relaunch the initiative and continue the work is that these statistics, amongst others, dramatically decreased once the boys were part of the program post the program and continued getting support from our counselors and stakeholders in the initiative. So we've got positive hope about raising a nation of good men in the future. Thank you so much for just those elaborate numbers. And I know it doesn't even end there. Um, you know, there are more numbers that you could have shared. But for the sake of time, we know that the social development agency or department um, is supporting uh, what about the boys movement? Who are some of the other notable uh, partners that have come on board um, as you made the call to corporate South Africa to say, uh, you know, as we empower the young girl in South Africa, let's not forget about the boy child. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what we what we did, William, is create a national movement. And it's been incredible to see all corners of society, business, government, civil society. We've had um, companies like Cecil, Siriti, uh, Chieta, Markham, Ford Foundation, EPSA coming on board. Just at the launch on Thursday, McDonald's CEO Greg Solomon came up to stage to commit McDonald's to the initiative. This top I'm wearing today is uh, also a new uh, announcement that was made by Markham to say, what about the boys' gears is going to be in all stores across the country from August 
and uh, proceeds are going to go towards the program and other companies like the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, Old Mutual and those around me here have created a, uh, we call it a GBV ecosystem, but we're calling on more partners to join us because although we've reached 15,000 boys and we will reach another 20,000 this year, there is a need for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of boys. And President Ramaphosa at last year's GBV summit said to the country that they must join this movement. So invite the country to answer this question with us. What about the boys? And Kosnati, thank you so much for your time uh, and just making time to chat to us. Very quickly, in 30 seconds, if someone is watching and wants to get involved with What About the Boys, what do they need to do? Where do they need to go? Please get onto our socials, Prime Stars SA. Prime Stars SA on, on social media, across the board, you'll be able to connect with us there. Otherwise, send an email to projects at Prime Stars. That's plural, projects at Prime Stars. Dot co dot za, uh, email us to, to, to join us. And I must say, William, I uh, thank you for being a good man. Thank you for being a great example. Uh, we need more men like you. Uh, and can we have more men like Mr. Lohong uh, contacting us to become mentors? We appreciate the platform. Let's raise a nation of good men.